Hey guys, got a pretty epic backdrop here today. Um, as everybody knows, we've been working on um, getting utility approval to interconnect from um, Puget Sound Energy, the local utility company here. Um, really been working closely with Tesla to get things dialed in. Um, it starts a little, a little bit warm out here tonight, so I look a little glistening, that's why. But um, as you guys can see, to get to the real content here, um, we have a nice little red tag notice with the uh, disconnect locked shut here. Um, PSC came out and went ahead and tagged the system uh, inoperable because of a violation um, regarding this little guy right here, as you guys have heard, the backup switch. So the reason um, being that uh, the system was actually on, unfortunately, Tesla was exploring an option to turn off um, feeding power back to the grid uh, to make sure we could just kind of wait out and see if ultimately Puget Sound Energy would approve the system. And so when they turned it off, we had the system on uh, to make sure it wasn't feeding energy back to the grid which is when PSC came out to look at it and they red tagged it and here we are. So now I'm waiting for uh, them as well as Tesla to have more conversations and it sounds like their only resolution at this point is going to be to install um, the older kind of gateway style system in between to replace the backup switch. So as I understand it then Obviously the backup collar here with this will go away. Gateway will be installed roughly where this is. And then the disconnect will be moved over here. And hopefully that will make everyone happy and will be resolved. So just to urge anybody looking at, you know, the Powerwall plus whole home backup, make sure that the utility actually does approve the backup switch solution, which is a lot obviously nicer and simpler um, in your area, because if they don't, uh, some folks at the utility company may get pretty heated about it. And uh, yeah, even to the point of like threatening to schedule a disconnect for our whole house from the grid, which is fantastic given it's 100 degrees outside um, in, you know, outside of the Seattle area. So anyway, that is an update. Uh, we're hoping next week. So in about like seven or eight days, they'll have the install scheduled for the gateway. We should be back to normal and it shouldn't change anything inside again um should be a total wash from an inside perspective so inside you know we'll still have the power wall and the inverter um sorry power wall plus if you will and uh no change in here so fingers crossed thank y'all and uh talk soon